Mohammed Fahmy is the latest Muslim celebrity in Canada. He's not an Al-Qaeda terrorist like the last Muslim celebrity, Omar Khadr, but according to the government of Egypt, Mohammed Fahmy is a sympathizer and propagandist for the Muslim Brotherhood terrorist group. That's why they put Fahmy in jail. That's why they convicted him, not once but twice, of crimes. Stephen Harper lobbied the president of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, to get Fahmy out of jail. Harper even wrote a letter to al-Sisi and telephoned him. That's quite something to call head of government to head of government on the phone to spring a convicted criminal from jail, especially since Fahmy is a citizen of convenience in Canada. He wasn't born in Canada. He was born in Egypt. He lived in Kuwait till he was a teenager, spent most of his adult working life in Iraq and Egypt. Fahmy hadn't been in Canada in years. Oh, he went to school here for a few years and took out citizenship then. So when he was in jail in Egypt, convicted of his crimes, he could call the Wambulance to bust him out. He is a Canadian of convenience. Hasn't lived here in years, hasn't paid taxes here, certainly didn't consider us home, but he asked for our help and our prime minister actually got him out of prison. So Fahmy is in Canada now because of Harper. And the first thing this citizen of convenience did was have press conferences denouncing Harper and posing with Justin Trudeau and praising Thomas Mulcair. Now, they didn't free him. Oh, they wrote some tweets about him, for sure. Harper did too, actually. But that's not what sprung him from jail. A phone call to President al-Sisi did. But Fahmy isn't just an ingrate. He's a liar, too. Funny, see, that's exactly what he was convicted of in Egypt. Now, his crimes in Egypt are not crimes that we would recognize in Canada, uh, like crimes of propaganda. That's allowed here in Canada, as the CBC proves every day. But in Egypt, it's called spreading false news. We haven't had that in our criminal code since the 1980s. Fahmy was also convicted of bringing equipment into Egypt without permission from security officials, and he was broadcasting without permission too. Now, we have some broadcasting regulations in Canada also. You can't just start a radio or TV station without the government's permission here either, but in Egypt, they take these things a lot more seriously, given that the country has pretty much been in the state of civil war for four years. And Fahmy wasn't working for a real TV station. He was working for the government propaganda arm of the dictatorship of Qatar called Al Jazeera. Qatar was helping to foment a revolution in Egypt to install an extremist government by, uh, run by the Muslim Brotherhood terrorists. So spreading false news in Egypt is not a trivial matter over there. It's actually a matter of life and death and revolution and terrorism. Again, being paid by Qatar's government propaganda organ, Al Jazeera, to demonize Egypt and promote the Muslim Brotherhood, that's not a crime in Canada. We wouldn't put someone in prison for that, but it is a crime in Egypt. And he was tried and convicted of that. It's not like he was doing civil liberties journalism for CNN. He was doing political push journalism for Al Jazeera. But Canada's mainstream media and the mainstream media in the West loves Al Jazeera, partly because it pays Western journalists so well. And the Western media love the Muslim Brotherhood because they're Islamist. And the Western media hates al-Sisi and the new Egyptian government that put Fahmy in jail because the new Egyptian government threw out the Muslim Brotherhood too and has stood up against terrorists. So Mohammed Fahmy is in Canada now, his home, the country he loves. Yeah, what a crock. He never had any use for us until he was a convicted criminal who needed a guardian angel. Ironically, it was al-Sisi who pardoned him and Harper who asked him to. Funny, in Qatar or under the Muslim Brotherhood, he would probably have just been killed. What's so gross about Fahmy is what an ingrate he is, how he has been demonizing Harper for not caring, not doing anything, when in fact it was only Harper that did anything useful. But really, a man is a propagandist for the Qatari dictatorship, a convicted criminal in Egypt. It's not a shock that he would be an entitled little ingrate, a liar, a smearer. What's more surprising is that not a single journalist in Canada, not one, seems to have asked Fahmy about his citizenship of convenience his lack of real ties to our country, and the grotesque implication that Harper has done nothing for him. But of course, they love him precisely for all of those things. The University of British Columbia just hired him for their faculty. He's not a teacher or a scholar, but come on, it's not like universities these days look for academic rigor. UBC is looking for a leftist, pro-Muslim brotherhood entitled Weiner. That's Fahmy. The media party is looking for someone to condemn Stephen Harper. That's funny. I have nothing more to add than this. 
you just can't trust a word the media says. Not just Al Jazeera, but our own propagandists too, from places like the CBC and the Globe and Mail. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant. Ow! We're building a studio. Help us out. Click here or visit buildthedream.ca.